Hi everyone, this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you um, this really nice hair bow. So it's a slide as you can see and I love it. It's really really pretty and it's really delicate. I loved making it and so for this project I used um, Drops Muscat and that's 100% mercerized cotton and this is what I have left from that skein of yarn and it's considered a light 3 DK weight yarn and it was really really um, lovely to crochet with I also used a 4mm crochet hook, I used a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, I also used a little slide, so I ordered these online, um, I will be linking everything in the description box as always, so I ordered this online and to sew this in I used a um, darning needle and darning thread and as always the free written pattern is available on my blog selinaveronique.com the link will be in the down bar I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe that really helps out my channel and if you want more feminine crochet content don't forget to head over to Patreon the link is in the down bar for the members only app and it's really really lovely so many people are joining and it's a really nice community so um, check that out so to begin this tutorial you will be taking your yarn and you will be making a slip knot so just go ahead and make a slip knot pop your hook through and tighten and what we are going to be doing now is chaining 45 in the round. So I'm just going to show you my um, my technique on how to do this. So you are going to be chaining um, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now that you've chained 4, you are going to take your hook out and... Pop it through the first chain that we did. So this is the first chain and then pop your hook back into the last chain. And now we are going to carry on um, counting our chains and chaining. And this will um, create a circle chain into which we are going to be working. And it just avoids um, twisting the chain. So now, so we've counted four, now five, six, seven, eight, and just carry on until you have 45 chains in total, and then I'll get back to you. So I've chained less, as you can see, because this, um, the first few um, rounds I'm going to show you with a sample, but the principle is the exact same. So as you can see, I've chained, so you should have 45 chains in total, and once you have 45 chains in total, just slip stitch through that first chain um, on the hook, and now we are going to start um, creating our first round. So to create your first round, chain two, one and two. And this counts as your first half double crochet. And now we are going to go directly into the next stitch with a half double crochet. So to create your half double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that chain, pull up a loop, so you have three loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through all three loops and that creates a half double crochet. And now you are going to be placing a half double crochet into the next chain 
and into the next chain and just place a half double crochet into each and every chain across until you reach the end of um, this chain and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so now um, you should have more stitches than I, but the principle is the exact same. So I've placed a half double crochet all the way across and now I'm simply going to be slip stitching through the chain two from the beginning to close off this round like so. So now we are going to be doing row two, so one and two, and that chain two that we've just done counts as a half double crochet. And you are going to go directly into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and just go all the way around once again with a half double crochet until you reach the end of this round where you will be slip stitching um, like we just did. So I'm just gonna let you carry this on. So just finish this round of half double crochet and slip stitch to close off the round and repeat this round until you have, so this is what I've done for now, until you have 10 rounds in total. So you should have 10 rounds in total of half double crochets. So just go ahead and repeat round two until you have 10 rounds in total and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so now that we've completed um, all these rounds, we are going to be doing um, our rounds of um, the last round, which will be the chain arc edging. So to do this chain arc edging, you are, so you've not fastened off, we've just slip stitched to finish off this last round. And to do your chain arc edging, you are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. And you are going to be skipping one stitch and going into the next with a single crochet. So to single crochet, you are going to pop your hook directly into the stitch, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, take your yarn and pull through two loops. And that creates a single crochet. Now chain three, one, two and three, skip a stitch, and go into the next with a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. Skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet and just carry on this um, pattern until you reach the end of this round and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. Please um, ignore this loose end. I had to attach a new piece of yarn as I went. So I've chained three here we're going to skip this stitch and go into the last and also first stitch and place a single crochet into this last stitch here like so okay and this creates our um, first well our last round so I'm going to fasten off but I've Oh, here are my scissors, so I'm just going to fasten off like this and pull your yarn through like so. And this is what we have. So I'm going to be um, fastening in these loose ends 
in a, a moment, but I just want to show you the other side. So just repeat the chain arc edging on the other side. Obviously you want to attach your yarn. So there is no um, specific stitch into which you need to attach your yarn, but I am going to be attaching my yarn on the stitch where we fastened off, where there's already a loose end, as you can see, or the stitch next to that, just because it might look a bit neater, but that you don't have to do this. So I fastened on my yarn, pop your hook through and chain three, one, two and three and this is the chain side so that means that's a chain that we did to begin this pattern but the principle is the exact same skip the next chain and go into the next with a single crochet chain three one two and three skip the next chain and go into the next with a single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, skip a chain and go into the next, chain three, one, two, and three, skip a chain and go into the next, and just carry on this pattern until you reach the beginning of this round and then just slip stitch like I just showed you and fasten off and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay so now for this part we are going to be creating the center, well not the center but the bow shape and as you can see I've already taken my yarn and loosely tied it around um, the project and we are going to be gently, so I've centered this and we are going to be gently giving this um, part um, its shape. So I'm going to be doing this off camera because it's, it's a bit tricky, but basically you are going to be scrunching it up as you attach the yarn. So I hope this is making sense, but just give it the shape that you want and straighten it out and just tighten this, not too much, but do tighten it quite a bit, probably about this much, so that there's probably about an inch and a half of center, like this, and tie it, so I'm just going to tie it. Okay, so now, once you've given it the shape that you want and kind of straighten it out as you want it, you are going to be going round and round this part. Um, I'm just going to go round and then let you know how many times I've gone round, but I'll probably go round at least um, 50 times, if not more. So just go round and round and I'll be popping on the screen how many times I've gone round this part and let you know. Okay, so I've gone all the way around 50 times and now you are going to be fastening off like so and I'm just going to finish off this part as you can see by gently um, attaching this like that and I'm probably going to be hiding this knot and I'm just going to hide these two um, loose ends inside the project. Okay now for the next part, so obviously this is what we have now, I love um, how this bow looks, it's so pretty and dainty and now we are going to be making the um, this part here. Okay, so for this part of the project, you are going to be slip stitching. So just go ahead and slip stitch, pop your hook through and tighten. And now you are going to be chaining five. So just go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, four and five. And now that you've chained five, 
you are going to be placing a half double crochet I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit so you are going to be placing a half double crochet into the third chain from the hook so one two three and place a half double crochet into that third chain from the hook there we go place your half double crochet into that and now place a half double crochet into the next stitch so just go ahead and place a half double crochet into the next stitch and into the next stitch like so there we go so this is what we have and that is equivalent to four half double crochets in total so now chain two one and two turn your work and this counts as your first half double crochet with this first stitch so go directly into the second stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet obviously this is a tiny project so it's hard to film on camera so a half double crochet into the next stitch and into the last stitch which is the chain two from the previous row and just continue um, row two so just repeat row two until you reach um, until you have 39 rows in total so chain two this counts as your first half double crochet go into the next stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet so like I said just repeat row two until you have 39 rows in total and then I'll show you what to do then so this is what I have for now and now to um, to do the next part what we are going to be doing is placing so let me just move this slightly and zoom we are going to be placing a row of single crochets all the way around so to do this chain one and this does not count as a stitch and this is what I call the wrong side of the stitches meaning that this is the row side so there's no specific stitch into which you will be placing a single crochet so you need to place them evenly so just go into a space with a single crochet and place them all the way around so just make sure you place enough single crochets there isn't a specific number of single crochets you need to place just make sure that you have enough so just go all the way around and once you've done that um, so just go all the way around and all everywhere down this side and then up again and then up this side and then I'll show you how to finish off this round okay so now I'm so we finished round one as you can see and to finish off round one I am going to be slip stitching through the first single crochet that we did like so and now for the second row of all round of the chain arc edging chain three one two and three skip a stitch and go into the next I'm going to zoom in a teeny bit chain three one two and three skip a stitch and go into the next and just carry on with this pattern 
all the way around this um, this part and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've almost finished this round and so to finish off this round I'm simply going to be chaining three, one, two and three and placing my last single crochet in the stitch here like so and I'm just going to be fastening off and there we go I'm going to sew in this loose end and then I'll show you um, what to do after that okay so now that we have our two parts we are going to be sewing these two together so you are going to be choosing a front and a back for this bow so let's see um so just choose whichever this is the back for me so i've turned it so the back is facing me and um place this um this part like this so i folded it in half as you can see and i'm going to place it um slightly askew like that as you can see so it's straight here but these parts are a bit um like this and i've kind of placed it in the middle so this is in the middle um it's centered so now I'm just going to attach my yarn, so just go ahead and attach a piece of yarn with which you are going to be sewing, like this. Let me just zoom in, and now we are simply going to be sewing this across. Um, you can use sewing pins if you wish. Um, I don't use sewing pins simply because I don't need them. Um, however, um, you are more than welcome to use sewing pins if you do need them. Um, if they help you. I know I always need sewing pins um, if I'm sewing fabric. However, um, with yarn, I don't need them. So there we go, so as you can see, I'm kind of sewing this project in as best I can. Obviously in this part, there's no stitches, so just go across and then just sew as best you can. I'm sewing just the top here, so that's all I will be sewing. So just go ahead and sew this part now and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I finished sewing. Um, that part in and now I'm going to be sewing in the slide so um, I'm going to pop it just above what we've just sewn this part so just above the seam and I've got my darning thread and needle and I'm simply going to sew each side in so I'm just going to create a knot obviously to begin with and I'm just going to delicately sew this in and um, so my slide is slightly smaller than what I would want but it's fine um, when I ordered them online I thought that um, they would be bigger somehow but it's fine it's completely fine um, I think I'll write down I'll write down a list of everything that I've bought um in the description box so i ordered these on amazon but i think you can buy them um in a lot of different places i'll write down the size also um like i say i have quite thick hair my hairs are very thick so usually i need a bigger like a, always i've always needed a bigger sized everything for hair um, so this is just a teeny bit small, but I will use this um, to do a half updo. So um, it'll only be half of my hair that needs to be clasped, if that makes sense. So it'll be fine. So yeah, 
So depending on um, your hair thickness, you might want to, um, to see what size you prefer. So now I'm just sewing this in, just creating a knot to secure it. You want to secure this quite well because obviously um, there's going to be quite a lot of strain. I mean, if you have hair like mine, there will be a lot of strain on your slide. But yes, so just do this. I'm going to sew in the other side. And then once I've done that, I'll get back to you.